what we're going to do now is we're going to coat this windscreen with our 7601 uh, protection for windscreen. You can see the, the, the car's a little bit dirty, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start cleaning with BioSativa. We've got some mixed to a 1 to 20 ratio. So we clean and remove all this, this surface with BioSativa. So now we have, we've used the BioSativa, we need to rinse it thoroughly because we don't want to leave anything, uh, anything on the surface and there are contaminants on here. So next we use alcohol. So we're going to moisten this cloth fully with alcohol and we're going to use this uh, to deep, deep clean everything on the surface there. We can still see dirt coming out of the, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, still see dirt coming out of the surface, so we, we keep on cleaning. Can we pick that up there? Windscreens are very rough. People think they're smooth. They're covered in micro scratches. So we keep on going until we have a completely clean surface. I've turned the, the wipe over now. Let's have a look. It's still a little dirt there, so we keep on cleaning. I would say normally it takes 10 minutes of solid work before you clean a windscreen. At least 10 minutes. We've cleaned the, the uh, windscreen with alcohol. There are still traces of contaminants on there, and we're just going to lift them off with a microfiber or similar cloth. So we're going to buff gently. Anything that's left on, we remove now. So now we're completely clear. Everything is perfectly clean. We are going to use a, one of our wipes here. If you've got a pre-impregnated wipe, then you don't have to do what I'm going to do, which is soak the wipe. For a windscreen like this, our pre-impregnated wipes have six millilitres, and that's sufficient for coating one windscreen. When you have uh, purchased another type of wipe, then you always have to put a little bit more on. I would guess about 10 millilitres for a screen because it's not going to be perfectly balanced with the wipe. So what do we do? We moisten, fully moisten the wipe and then we're going to work quickly and evenly in this direction and then this direction. And so I'll do halfway and I'll be working quickly because it's going to dry quite quickly. Today is a really good temperature. It's about 14 degrees, uh, not a lot of sunshine, sunlight, so it's a perfect day for coating windscreens. So, we don't do it over the car because you don't, if you spill it, I'm going to fully moisten the cloth. So we're ready, and there we go. So, up and down. I've put about five millilitres into this wipe now and we keep on wiping until the cloth is dry. We keep on working, working, working. Whoops. If this is a hot day, it would have dried by now. But it's not. I'm still working, putting it in. Right, the cloth is now. It's right. at this point that you realize whether you've cleaned your windscreen sufficiently or not. My cloth, apart from that on the edge, by the way, you will always pick up contamination from the edge. A little bit there, the rest of it's clean. So we did a great job on cleaning our windscreen. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'm gonna put another five mil approximately into here. And off we go, working quickly.
So I've made sure that I've fully covered every area. Now, you really do have to work quickly with this. Keep on going. I'm going to go with this attitude. But it would be the same as if you had a pre-impregnated wipe. You really have to work nice and efficiently, nice and quickly. And by doing up and down like this, we're ensuring full coverage. That's it. So, we've finished now and we've got going to have a slight bloom. So a little bit of, uh, you can see excess on there. We now wait for half an hour, depends on the weather, if it's a hot day, 10 minutes, on this coolish day, we're going to wait about uh, half an hour and then buff off the whole surface again to make it nice and shiny. But you'll see that the, this is completely normal, a little bit of extra SiO2 here, a little bit of liquid glass, just there, we buff it off afterwards. So we're almost finished now, we've let this dry for approximately 20 minutes and so now we're just going to buff and this will take out any of the excess uh, product that sits on the top, it's just like polishing a table really. You have to work quite hard, it's, it won't Especially on these dark pits you see, uh, just keep on bu buffing, it will come off. In fact, you could drive the car with, with the extra on uh, over time. It's just extra SiO2 that uh, the coating will only bond to approximately 100 nanometers. That extra just will sit on top and then get washed away with the windscreen wiping action. But um, you'll notice it more on the, the, the dark areas. I can see more closely here, I don't know if you can see on the camera. You pick out that area there. That's been not been buffed, this area's been buffed here. Okay. So, the next question is, what do I do? Is the car ready to drive? And if it rains, what happens? In simple terms, it's, now it's okay. If it rains, I don't mind course can't coat it if the, the, the windscreen's wet, it's got to be dry. Also not hot, if it's a sunny day you'd need to put your car under the shade and wait for some hours for the temperature to come down. The best thing would be late in, early in the morning or late at night in, in the summer. So very simply, leave it for some hours ideally before you, you use your windscreen. But if, it, if, if, if this was today and it starts raining now, I don't care. Uh, but I would prefer to wait before. It's like paint. You want to let the paint paint fully bond before you subject it to any uh, strong actions.